And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Karma Thresh Control. We got even more donation decks to play today. Viewers have been submitting a lot of lists to play. Uh, so we got four more on the docket, starting with an old favorite that has um, has not looked gr like too great recently, but we're going to try to um, bring it back and make it good again. We're going to have Karma, Thresh, you know, Spooky Karma as a control deck. This deck was was quite good against a burn decks because of the um, all the lifesteal that it had in it. Um, there's not very much burn decks running around, so we're kind of retooling, uh, taking out some of our early game, you know, not playing Health Potion, um, only playing two Emerald Awakener, and kind of going for a more mid-range matchup. We're going the full three Thresh, uh, which a lot of times we only played two. Um, going bigger, we got the Ledros in here. Um, uh, some more like card draw, deep meditation. Will of Ionia is an important one against um, either un both Unyielding Spirits and also They Who Endure. This is an important one to have. Um, I really like Twin Disciplines in this kind of deck. I'm going the I'm going up to the full three Twin Disciplines. Same with Solitary Monk. Solitary Monk's going to be our most common turn three play. You know, like that and Shadow Assassin. We're going to be holding on Awakener until we have ten mana, and like if these die early, we can bring them back with Miscall. Also, or we can protect them with Twin Discipline. So a lot of times, this deck will kind of feel like the uh, standalone deck, like where we don't do anything turn one or turn two, and then turn three we have Shadow Assassin, Solitary Monk, plus either Twin Disciplines or Mystical. A lot of the time, and then you know we just try to stabilize, just try to stay alive, and try to get Enlightened Karma because Enlightened Karma is still super super powerful. It's our main win condition. Basically, every single spell that we play uh, gets cast twice, and that, um, and just having everything cast twice uh, is going to uh, just whittle down our opponent. Like, we're just going to outgrind our opponent from that. And then, plus, Karma's champion spell is incredible. Whenever you're enlightened, you create four uh, random cards in hand, and it just, you know, just outgrinds the opponent. Um,. I just realized that Karma, I guess that one, she has like the heart design, it looks like, and so she fits, Ledros also has the heart design, is there, is there something here, are we, there's something here, Thresh, you have a heart, no, no, no heart for Thresh, but anyway, here we go, Karma, Thresh, Control, uh, let's uh, go ahead and go play some games, we're gonna go play five games, over in ranked like we do, and have a good time with that. Then we got a couple of Twisted Fate Bilgewater decks. Um, hey, Resin. Uh, after, later on, we got Zed's Fate. Um, you know, Twisted Fate with Zed and Ionia and a bunch of Recall and stuff like that. Um, then we got uh, Midrange Frostbite, a classic. A donation deck for that. And also a donation deck for, for a Mogwai deck, Casino. Uh, which is Jinx and Twisted Fate. So we'll be playing that as well. All right, Sejuani, Misfortune, Gangplank. Okay, so I think, yeah, I think I'm just going to keep Thresh, keep Solitary Monk. I'm going to Mulligan Shadow Assassin. Because I don't know if I want to play Shadow Assassin on turn four. Okay, we, we get another one, and that's fine. But I think that I'll probably be wanting to play Solitary Monk on turn three. Getting a 4-3 for blockers against an aggressive deck. Like where just the four threes blocking a lot better than the two two. All right, well we pass turn. The opponent is super surprised we pass turn. I'm kind of guessing they have a warning shot in hand. I don't know if I can like do anything about warning shot. Oh, that's unfortunate. That thing's a two two. A big downfall of this deck has been the. Uh, decline in usefulness of Withering Whale. I walk my path alone. Um, Withering Whale used to be a very good uh, removal spell, but there just is not an abundance of one health units running around. Does look like it'll be just fine here. Seriously? A 5-5? Five five? Hmm. So I could just Vengeance that thing. 
If I cast Withering Whale, uh, they'll attack with the Omen Hawk for sure. Let's see what they do. Think they're just gonna pass back and just get no attacks? me going to 16 I can I can stay at 18 and block and trade my monk for their omen hawk um, which you know I have another monk but I'm not going to do that I wanted to wait till combat so to see if they would attack with the, the fortune because then we would have been able to trade with misfortune Wouldn't necessarily be a bad karma turn if karma still costs five mana. Fast as wind, light as air. Silence. Let none disturb my meditation. Alright, we'll just play another monk. Hi, say moi. So, no Sejuani. I'm likely going to need to kill this misfortune soon. This is another thing that's really harmed this deck is is just Bilgewater. Um, we talked about this before that we are a really good deck. If if you're playing if you're playing these plunder cards, you love seeing our deck. We have great things to plunder. And so that's not ideal either. I need no weapon. We'll see, maybe I'm supposed to be just playing Vengeance this turn. And then having Vengeance again next turn. In case of another champion. There is great cards to grab. I'm not greedy. My friends though. Especially if they cost one less, because you know our our cards are kind of expensive. And so our cards costing one less. It's a big deal. So those two are going to die. So that four and five for Thrash.
We don't have much life gain right now. Our deck's supposed to be filled with life gain. Well, it's not really filled now, but we, you know, we have our grasp, our withering whales. We already we played one withering whale. They took one grasp of the undying. Well, they should have done that before damage. That would have killed my Thrash if they would have just done that before damage. Hmm. Um, I, I wish I could rekindle our Antoine Disciplines. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what to do either, opponent. I don't know what to do either. I wasn't even... I wasn't really planning on attacking with a Thresh. Oh, maybe I should have. I mean, just attacking with a Thresh would just put a Karma in play that would die. Like, I mean, I, I could have tried to trade with, like, you know, a couple of things, but... Uh, the Karma would have just got blocked by the Powder Monkey, so it's not like it would have... We would not have gained anything. Really, really use a Withering Whale. Really use a Withering Whale. That's not a good card. Come on, Withering Whale. The answer lies within. Mm. Don't have the space for that. No withering whale. We have learned as much as <clears throat> I had the one from earlier, they stole one. I wasn't really drawing into very many. Except our it's kind of unfortunate that it's it's really hard for us to beat Bilgewater with with the steel cards with this deck. It really is. Like it's just it's just a terrible matchup. I mean, I th I think it's more likely that we would draw. I mean, yeah, I guess I could have just just done that that one, but I think it's more likely to draw than than go the other way. All right, get rid of all those. We don't need those now for this matchup. Have I tried a Karma Lee Teemo deck? No. I have not tried anything like that. I can't say. Maybe I should keep maybe I should have kept a Withering Whale because of Heimerdinger. No, we just draw try to draw into a Heimerdinger. Yeah, that's true. I could have just played my Karma spell and see if the one, you know, we'd burn the other three, but the one random spell that we get, if that was a Withering Whale, we could at least stay alive. Wasn't looking good, though. Uh, yes, the random spells do do depend on your region. Um, I think that's something that they are, like, they, they announced that they are, either are changing it or that just changed that is something that's always has been the case. That's always been your regions, but that that was something that they are 
I don't I don't know if they if that's changed now or if that will be changed in like the next patch or something like that but that was an announced change that is upcoming Okay, Gucci, you got a donation deck. What? So what is your... What's your donation deck there? You said it's a, a deck you found on YouTube. Feel free to play it anytime. What kind of deck is it? I want to play the miss call on that thing. I kind of want to wait and miss call Karma, Rekindler, that kind of stuff. Yes, Gucci, what what kind of deck is it? I just want to write down what seems to be the problem. I want to write down what kind of deck it is. So is it is it uh is it Karma Lee Timo? Is that what it is? Karma Lee Timo. But maybe I should have kept Withering Whale. Okay, cool. Wrote it down. that card. Oh wow, talk about a nightmare. That wasn't like a removal spell. You know, like a removal spell, then I'd have like Miss Call bring it back, it would be dead, then I'd have Rekindler bring it back. That is the worst case scenario right there. Yeah, this game's over now. We just can't we just can't play spells. Our cards are too expensive. Deep meditation costs so much mana. Unfortunately, this deck's just not good anymore. I think it just comes down to that. Just not a good deck. Um yeah, I I have nothing. I have, I have no I have no good plays. Um Sure. 
I don't I don't know what we're gonna beat. I don't I don't know. I don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what this deck's good against anymore. unfortunate but this 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 may be an 05 uh let's see we'll just get rid of the nine drops do we want i don't want five mana draw to Ugh, so much mana Looks just like last game right now. A chill in the air. All right, high tech. Have fun studying. I'll see you later. Just gonna play this to get it out of my hand. Just need to get things out of my hand. And not waste all this mana. It's not like that's a great card to um, uh, grasp the undying, but I, I just feel like that's a better play than just drawing two more cards that are just gonna be stuck in the hand. But that led me with just enough mana to... Uh, to cast Vengeance on Vi. Vi stands for vicious. Where there is light, there is hope. Sapling toss. It's not bad. Cost one. We do have a dead karma, but we do have a rekindler. Yuck. I guess we'll do two damage to this thing. Our opponents have some good hands. Gotta give it to him. These cards are good to play. I, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I cast Deep Meditation, we'll be at 10 cards. And so I'll be required to play something else. Do 
Ideally, we would wait till we have 10 mana for Rekindler. But we have to get cards out of hand. It looks like maybe we just shouldn't have Deep Meditation at all. That's what it kind of looks like. Is that Deep Meditation should not be in our deck. It's too expensive and... I was, I was thinking they could help, like, you know, late game and everything, but we, we just don't need it. We always have too many cards. Like, that's kind of what Karma, Karma does. Karma gives you a lot of cards. Gonna get aggressive with Ledros. Both of our first two losses, we really needed Withering Whale. And this game, we don't need Withering Whale in the slightest, and we get all three of them. That just... That's karma. They shall get. Alright, leveled up by. That works pretty well for us with Rekindler dying. At least I think it does. It should. So that should be two more Rekindlers and two more Karmas. Thank you. And so now Withering Whale does four damage and we gain 12. It's gonna be hard for... Uh, so these just trade. I don't want them to create the free Mystic Shot. It's going to be hard for Ezreal to kill us with this kind of life gain. I, obviously, it doesn't do anything to Vi because the tough, right? So, like, the Vi is still killing the Karma. But doing this before they create a free Mystic Shot um, with the Ezreal. So that levels up Ezreal. Do they have 20 burst speed damage to kill me? Okay, not quite. It kind of seems unnecessary to do this, right? Like, why, why level up Ezreal first to do, like, a very small amount of damage to me when I'm about to gain 12 life? Like, what's, what's the point? I'll just go back up to 20. Well, I guess I'm going to go to 15 because this Vi is still going to do 5 to me. Been at 15 either way. I knew, and now I am. Cool head, steady hand. So this is where our deck looks really powerful, getting a bunch of karmas in play. <laughs> Suddenly, Withering Whale is really good if it does four damage to all their stuff. Um. I'll just pass. Okay, like... 
Like, two harsh winds would have kept them alive at one. But. <laughs> yeah, play Solitary Monk. Pick it all back up. That would have been that would have been one of the worst solitary monk plays ever. <laughs> All right, so that's that's what we need to do. We need to just get multiple enlightened karmas in play, and and then have withering whale. Like we had that like the first game, we didn't have withering whale. Well, we had just one enlightened karma. Boot. Withering whale is great with enlightened karma. <laughs> yeah, could have played deep meditation and just milled our whole our whole deck basically. Timo Ezreal. So I wonder if they're going to be more burn style or more... Like, is, is this just going to be burn? And if so, should I have mulliganed more? Yeah, it's looking like it's going to be burn. So, Withering Will, Grass the Undying. Let's draw those two cards. Maybe. Withering Whale. So that's good for us. They had no two mana play to play first before attacking. That's good. Or they did or they at least just didn't play anything before attacking. I think they were scared scared of Vile Feast, right? Like they play that, I Vile Feast that, then block that. I think that's what they're afraid of. Yeah, I'm gonna draw looking for looking for Withering Whale like we were talking about. Um the Solitary Monk doesn't block the Grenadier anyway. I can have the Shadow Assassin block the Grenadier. Can we pair Karma with Deep? Yeah, yeah, that's... Um, yeah, some people do that with the Karma Maokai. Um, try to have a late game with that. Not a big fan of that deck. Whoa! Boot with that resub. 46 awesome months. Thank you so much, Boot. Our first sub of the day? Yes, first sub of the day. Awesome, thank you, Boot. Now, what do we do blocking-wise? Do we just block Ezreal? Take a lot of damage? I can do this. <sighs> that doesn't sound ideal. None of my options really sound ideal. I could Vengeance, Vengeance Boom Crew Rookie. Yeah, Karma Thrush has been has been a, a good metagame deck in the past. But the it hasn't really been good since the introduction of Bilgewater.
All right, Thrash, help us out. <laughs> what would you guys do if you had 800 buff caps in your deck? I would. I would ask if I didn't have to draw a card. <laughs> That's a. Please don't make me draw. Yeah, start start tossing. Nothing like the great outdoors. Try to toss your deck, play champion spells to put new new cards in your deck. Next turn we'll have nine mana if I I'm gonna Yeah, so next turn we have nine mana. Yeah, hope hope eight hundred all eight hundred are on like your last card. Time for a true display of skill. I never use my goggles either. Wow, it's always bragging. That's not good. I kind of felt like I had to play that, but I don't know. Maybe I didn't have to. You cannot escape. Go down to four. I guess it's just better to block this thing. If I block that thing, it's still... Um, Taking two, four, five, six, seven. So still going down to four. So I go to four either way. I can keep Shadow Assassin alive. If that's a good thing. Maybe that's not even a good thing. So let's see. We block here. So we're still at four. But then we can have leveled up Thresh. Maybe we go. Let me go that way. Okay, so we're going to attack. We're at five. <clears throat> yeah, where's Grasp and Withering Whale and Vile Feast? We haven't seen a single one of any of those. We need those cards. We need those cards. Yeah, this our deck is not usually the one that has no life gain, right? Like we usually this deck usually has some life gain. We're playing less in general. You know, like we're not playing health potion in here anymore. Um, which I could give like my opponents unit plus zero plus three, right? Like pump up their things so that it doesn't die. Oh well. That's gonna kill me. Let us untap. No. We have learned as much as we have suffered. 
Yeah, no, no Vile Feast, no Withering Whale, no Grass the Undying. Um, I did have the 2-2 the two -two Lifesteal, um, but they they really played out, and so I played it, but they ended up having a Mystic Shots. Um, just unfortunate that uh, maybe I should have played it and had, you know, just played it first and had Twin Disciplines for it, but they had those Elusives. Yep, that's not our ideal scenario. Turn turn seven and not a single card with any heal. Uh, I think we just get rid of karma. Keep this other stuff. Okay, that could be good. We gotta be able to stop atrocity. Ledros is the last card I want to draw, so that was so that means it was the first card that we drew. That's how that math works. You won't suffer long. Yeah, I didn't really have like an opportunity to like have emerald and protected and stuff like that because of. Because basically because of Ezreal, right? Like they had like the Ezreal, we killed that, but then they had another Ezreal, and it's it's just really rough like playing Emerald Awakener into Ezreal and just like just assuming you're just gonna just take the damage from Ezreal and then use twin disciplines against Mystic Shot. Like that's that's pretty rough. That grows the Bark Beast. That was the worst thing that we could see. Was a glimpse beyond. Because that grows the Bark Beast. Strange to you that this deck doesn't work, but the Mage Seeker one that does nothing for three turns does. Because basically the 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 cards on the board are much better with that deck, and it, ha it has just a lot better interaction and, and better threats and and things like that. You know, because on your turn three, playing Remembrance, that's a huge. You know, usually get like a five five. That's hard. It's hard. It's a lot harder to get around a five five than a four three, and then you can start playing like two mana four three challengers, um, which that's that's incredible rate. Um, you know, you have better life gain in there. You have like Radiant Guardian getting you better life gain. Um, it's just the the interaction that this deck has is just not not uh, not good interaction for what the meta game looks like. Um, and then whenever you're Spending a lot, you know, like Lux. Lux is doing more than Karma. And things like that. Yeah, Purify, yeah. Yeah, Purify's really, really good right now. So yeah, I, I, I like having, yeah, you added a Purify to Mage Seeker Lux. I, I like that. That is a, a great re Everyone's removal spell right now. Basically, our cards aren't good enough. Like our our things that go and play aren't good enough on defense, size-wise, compared to the size that other people are playing. So this is gonna be two, three. Yep. 
It's actually kind of good that they did that. Honestly, if they would have just put that plus four, plus four, like on one of these attackers, that would have been really rough. Yeah, like we'd be down to a very low life total at that point. So it's kind of good that they they did that. bad. One of our better cards in this metagame is Ruination. Like, the, with the, the bigger units and everything, Ruination is a good card. I'm thinking that we should probably just have three. We only have the two. Maybe we need three of those. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Do wish we had one one just one more mana that I could have Emerald Awakener, I could still have twin disciplines to protect them. My path. Do wish we had one more mana. An open heart teaches more. I know I could attack for two elusive with them passing here 12 mana um, I just don't think it's really worth the risk getting the two damage in because it's not I don't think that, that we're gonna win that quickly on damage if, if we win it's gonna be by stabilizing This happens like this. I go to eight. I'm just gonna let it all happen. I'm not gonna play any anything else. Okay. I'm okay at eight. I cannot play Commander Ledros because we could just lose to They Who Endure Atrocities. We can't play Ledros. Do we have the 2 4? Uh, 
Okay, not bad. Not bad. So we play this, we still have 8 mana, we still have Will of Ionia and Deny. I'll take that. Oh, that's true. I guess I could have used the box to kill the Callista, huh? Alright, so there we go. So that game worked out pretty well for us, and we had like the they who we had the they who and Derek covered. That could be a matchup like that that uh, maybe we're a little favored in. We do have a lot of good things for that matchup. Um, but maybe not. Like they're just so aggressive that, you know, maybe it's not like one that we're actually favored in over the long run. Um, but that, that game played out well for us. Um but yeah, basically, it just kind of feels like this deck uh, is not defensive enough, or like good enough at stopping large creatures and stuff. Um, talking about comparing this to uh, the Spooky Mage Seeker deck, um, while while this while this deck, you know, a lot of the times is trying to play Remembrance on at turn three, just Remembrance is a lot better than than like the four three elusive. As we talked about, and and uh, you know, even just Lux in combat can do a lot. You know, you have your Radiant Guardian, and you still have like a bunch of like good little uh, things that that can um, you know a bunch of good cheap spells that like in the late you know in like turn four, turn five, turn six, you do get to double spell a lot easier with this kind of stuff um, in here. And then you have you know the power of Unyielding Spirit with this stuff. Yeah, it's just those those Demacia basically the Demacia cards are um, better at interacting with the big meta game than what these Ionia cards are. I'd have to say I was really disappointed with Deep Meditation. I think that was the the one probably the single card that I was the most disappointed with. I think it was just much too slow for us. Because yeah, like you know, like we just need a lot more things that cost one and two mana to be able to double. You know, like we're going to be behind, but you do need to double spell, triple spell things like that and besides health potion there's not a lot going on i don't know maybe we should could be playing like sapling toss maybe a lot of these units we don't really want to play so that's kind of the problem is just our our one and two mana cards um you know while we're trying to stabilize turn five turn six we need to be able to play two and three cards in a turn to catch up and that's that's like the big thing is we can't really do that um before we didn't need that as much i mean that could be just playing a bunch of health potions that's kind of the best thing that we have but the the threats right now are just hitting for so much they're not they're not as as burn heavy even though we did play against a couple of burn decks they're not as burn heavy um but anyway with this with this deck how we played it today how the games played out i, I would have much rather had health potion than a deep meditation I was not very impressed with the deep meditation. Besides that, um, yeah, I would, I'd rather have that there. Besides that, I would probably, I think, while I do like Twin Disciplines and everything, the three Twin Disciplines did seem a little heavy. Um, so I could see going back and playing the third Emerald Awakener or something else like maybe another deny maybe another will of ionia maybe it just a concussive palm like maybe concussive palm is like a card that that this deck needs as something that can slow down the opponent and affect the board by putting a three two in play um maybe that's something that we need so maybe like i mean i'd, I'd like to try one concussive palm over a twin disciplines refuge Refuge is also just expensive and, and hard to hard to pull off. It's just it's also expensive at four mana. I, I mean I could I could see playing Refuge instead of the Palm, but I don't really want Refuge over Twin Disciplines. Um, like maybe you just play one Miss Call in a Refuge, maybe Miss Call. As we saw that one game, Miss Call just has like the ability to just win the game for you. <laughs> we we. Miss Call definitely did just win us one of those games. Uh, 
And Refuge can protect Thrush, which is kind of nice, I suppose. But our things aren't doing a whole lot of damage. You know, like, we don't have the power of Vi with Refuge or Ezreal or anything like that. It's a lot of mana. And I think that's kind of, like, where, where you need to be is, like, finding ways to, to spend less mana, finding ways to cut the mana back more than putting four mana cards in the deck, even though I did just put a Concussive Bulm in here. Um, that's that's where you uh, need to be. I... Sap. Whoops. Uh, sapling toss is kind of the question mark. I wonder. I wonder if this can be a useful one mana spell that frequently trades with uh, other cards from the opponent. You know, like does this actually trade with things from the opponent? And if that's the case, this this could be sapling could be the thing to look at instead of some of these other cards. Maybe um, you know, like. Uh, some of these other just expensive spells. Maybe getting sapling tosses in there. That could be the thing. Yeah, Ledros didn't look very good. Um, yeah, Ledros looked un unnecessary. There's just not other... There's not other big, slow control decks running around. So yeah, maybe just getting rid of Ledros... Um, you know, maybe that could be a place that you, you try out the uh, Spirits Refuge. I mean, that cuts that down. But then again, you know, you can could maybe have Spirits Refuge, Concussive Palm. Those could also maybe turn into Sapling Tosses um, as well. If if that card really, if that card does play well. Um, I think that's, think that's about it. Uh, could also go, if, if you want, you can go away from Miscall and have like hapless aristocrat for a blocker the problem with hapless aristocrat is it makes solitary monk a lot worse because you don't really want to be bouncing hapless aristocrat and having to spend mana to replay it and stuff like that um but that that is an option uh, if you basically want to move like move away from miscall and move away from solitary monk then you can play some of these other things like hapless aristocrat and stuff like that maybe claws of the dragon eye of the dragon that kind of stuff you could do that instead of miscall solitary monk Uh, anyway, that's it here for Karma Thresh Control. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And feel free to leave some comments. If you've been having some success with Spooky Karma, um, let us know in the comment section. You know, let, let us know what you're doing with it. Um, you know, feel free to post your list and, and things like that. And, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think about, like, all those things that I was talking about here at the end of the video. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some Karma Thrush Control, and I'll see you for the next video.